Throwing some dirt. So apparently, got an armadillo. Try again. All right. So, the armadillo hole. Wherever you see the dirt, when he's dug in the hole, you can see almost a ramp going down in there. Going down in the hole. That is the traffic, the way he flows. So he goes straight in and straight out. So he goes down in there, turns around, comes out at night, whatever he does. So you don't want to set your trap on the back side. You want to find the slope going down into the hole. So what we're gonna do is he's got so much dirt dug out over here. He's got it, so I gotta get my rake and I gotta figure out how to uh, smooth this out. So I've got my live trap ready. And the sucky thing is with armadillos, you can't bait them, you can't lure them. So wherever they're at, is kind of where they're gonna be. And uh, is we've didn't disturb it too much because we want to make sure that he don't all we did was level that out see how his hole goes down in there this is entry see what i did here is when he comes out he's got to go this way i got him kind of cornered so if he comes up he could turn and go right out through here which he's been doing, but I cornered him off. So he's gonna have to come down through here. And I might even put this piece of metal down there just to bear him over, but this is such a simple task. Phew, I hope for the sake of this video that it does work. But uh, what you gotta do with the armadillo, you find his hole, you find his ramp. He goes down in there like this. So he's gonna go down and turn around, he's gonna come back up. He's gonna see all this barricaded. He's gonna say, well, I'm gonna go over here. And come over and go across or come out this way but he don't know there's gonna be a trap sitting there he's not gonna be looking at that he's gonna be sniffing around he's gonna be looking at what's going on in the ground he, he's gonna walk right into that bad boy right there and I'm, okay you see what i got here this is kind of overkill where my compressors are sitting but i just don't want this guy to come up and say i'm just going to go a different way today so i'll put me a box there just to optical illusion put my trap there i kind of grabbed it and i shook it around and got the bottom if you can tell we can't see the grate in the bottom so when he walks in there it's gonna be dirt might would probably wouldn't hurt to sprinkle some on that blade down there the, tr the trigger on the trap but what's gonna happen here hopefully when he comes out of that hole I'll show you guys. He should be able to walk right up in there, hit that trigger, and trap door. It looks like there's a little eggs over there, but it's not. I didn't look into that. But so we might throw a few things around there where he can only go that way. But uh, we'll come back and check it. We'll put a little more. I'm gonna put a little dirt on that trigger plate there, so he won't get disturbed on that. But uh, we'll figure it out. See if we can't catch this bad boy. He's digging up too much crap.
Okay. So, it's the next morning, obviously. Walking outside. We're going to walk out here to the trap. So, I did some research last night. You know, armadillo is not the only thing that gets in a hole. The cubby's up in a hole, whatever. And, uh, matter of fact, everything I looked up didn't really say nothing about armadillo. So, it was always uh, something about a big, you know, gopher, a groundhog, or something like that. So, Pretty interested in seeing what we get in this trap here. Um, you see me looking around. This is snake pit out here. But anyway, so we're gonna walk in here and see what we see. Maybe our uh, funneling tactics worked into the trap. Maybe they uh, pushed him right on in there. Hope so. So we'll see. It's a groundhog. And a pretty good size one. I don't know if these things are aggressive or not, but I would imagine he would go into defense mode. But I'll be dang. So there you have it. Uh, last night when we come in the house, we went to eat a Sunday night uh, dinner and when we got back, there was a raccoon run through the yard. So I thought maybe the raccoon might accidentally get back here and get in this trap. But there was no bait in it or nothing. So I really wasn't just hopeful for that. But I knew uh, that the hole was fresh. So there was definitely something coming out of it. So now we have our uh, grandma. He, he thinks he's going to scoot back in that hole. But um, that trap door has got him for sure locked in. So, well... There it is, guys. Uh, one night set up, it worked. The funneling system, whenever you see a cubby hole, uh, something, a varmint, uh, anything in the ground, fresh dirt slung out, put a trap there, no bait, no nothing. Just make it where uh, it funnels into that trap and he can see all the way through the end of it. When uh, I believe, in my opinion, when they can see through the end, they think they can go out. They don't really think about that mesh. You know, they're used to the wildlife where a, you know tree limb or something they kind of walk through it under it whatever so it's as easy as that but uh i've seen an armadillo around here somewhere so maybe we can catch one of them too <laughs> but i appreciate you guys watching uh like and subscribe i try to do a few of these videos from time to time but i appreciate you guys that watch and uh, have fun with us so maybe this will help y'all and uh if you guys need some help with anything, uh, leave me a comment. Maybe I can give you some suggestions somewhere along the line. Uh, I see another hole over here, so uh, I'll have to go check that out. So, uh, like I said, thanks, guys. I'm excited. Uh, we'll relocate this thing. I'm off in the woods somewhere. He can go live his life. So, I appreciate you guys.